Welcome back. I'm doing a weekend of my life doing all of my small business crafty things the weekend after Thanksgiving and I actually did a little bit of shopping for my small business. I got a new printer which has been the biggest thing on my wish list for my small business lately and I finally got one because it was on sale at Costco. I also got in some new and restocked fabric from Spoonflower so I want to show that to you guys. I have a bunch of orders that I need to fulfill from Black Friday sales which is crazy. I never really did a really big Black Friday sale ever. This is the first year I'm doing it so I'm really glad it went well. I didn't get like a crazy amount. I think I have 20 orders to fulfill, which is still like insane for me. And Cyber Monday is coming up, so I expect to get maybe a few more over the next few days. It is Saturday, so throughout the weekend, I'll keep monitoring my shop. But I do want to get started on orders by making candles. Most of my orders were candle orders. I did mark all of my pouches as sold out because if you watched some of my previous vlogs, you know that they're just not for me. I can't make the pouches and be happy at the same time. So we've gotten rid of those for now at least. I did get a few scrunch orders in, but I think those are all pre-made. So we're mainly focusing on candles. However, I am caught up in like the mix of Black Friday, small business, Saturday, Cyber Monday shopping. And all of my Instagram ads are just for like sales that are going on, especially for fast fashion companies. Even as someone who loves shopping sustainably, I still get the urge every now and then to shop at these fast fashion shops because things are like 80% off and a t-shirt's like $5. But I know that in the long run, I wouldn't be happy with my purchase. That garment probably wouldn't last me as long as some of my other things. In the back of my mind, I know that if I just wait and put in the time and effort to thrifting, and like manifesting that I actually thrift something similar to it, I will eventually find something just like it for cheaper and secondhand. So I think we're actually gonna go to the thrift store today just to like get this shopping energy out. Um, and maybe they have some sort of sale because it's like a very shopping heavy weekend. This morning I went on a run and I made some baked oats. The container is really hot, so I'm holding it like this. I follow a recipe that is on Caitlin Nolan's Instagram. I'll also link it below in case you're interested, but I put some chocolate chips, kind of like a dessert, honestly, but I'm having it for a pre-lunch snack. My Thanksgiving was pretty good. How was your guys's? My sister ended up getting COVID, so that's really sad. Um, so I didn't really get to see her. It's my first Thanksgiving without my sisters around because my one sister had COVID. My other sister lives far away and she couldn't take time off on Black Friday from work so she couldn't come up. Otherwise the food was really good. <laughs> but now that we're done with all the Thanksgiving festivities and we have two days to just like get back into routine, I am going to try to be pretty productive this weekend. I'm going to have my Magic Mine shot right now because I think I need it. I had a green tea this morning and I'm eating now. I did go for a run this morning too. So I think like I just am needing a little bit extra caffeine. On top of that, Magic Mind is like my favorite thing. I always talk about them. Caffeine source in this Magic Mind shot is matcha, which is my favorite form of caffeine. I pretty much solely drink matcha as well as like some chai every now and then, but tea, specifically matcha, is my favorite. Gives me that boost of energy without giving me the jitters. Magic Mind also has adaptogens in it and nootropics, which help me stay stress-free and also help me focus which is especially good on the weekends when I have so many options as to like what I can be doing and I kind of get a little scatterbrained and want to be doing every single thing at the same time this just helps me like stay laser focused on what needs to get done without making me feel like all weird and jittery it also tastes great like you need to taste it I know people put it in lattes and mix it with milk which is really great but I like the taste so much <laughs> that I kind of just like sip on it as is and you can also obviously take it as a full-on shot but i can't i don't i don't know how to do shots so packaging's also really cute it says do more stress less cute i always leave my magic mind link below i also have a 20 percent off coupon i believe that i also leave in the description so definitely check them out also it's cold right now i keep it chilled in the fridge because i think it tastes best when it's chilled in the fridge i get a 15 pack monthly subscription and Every time I run out for the month, 
I get kind of sad because I do try to drink these pretty much every single day. <laughs> However, the days I don't drink it, I'm not dependent on it. Like I don't get a headache or anything. Like it's just a nice little enhancement to my day. I don't depend on it like how I used to depend on coffee when I was addicted to coffee. <laughs> okay, cheers. This does also have ashwagandha in it. I know that's like a really trendy kind of like supplement to take, but there's lion's mane and ashwagandha in here, which um, I've heard a lot about. And I'm always looking into like natural remedies and like different supplements to take to just like enhance my life overall that are safe and natural and just like a little addition I can add on to my day without messing up my current routine too much. This is like a great way to do that. It takes me like two seconds to drink. Also like the prettiest matcha color. You can't even see anymore. You saw it before. Okay, I'm going to continue to sip on this and eat my baked oats and I will catch you at the thrift store. Actually, I decided I wanted to do an unboxing first, although it is really bright right here, so I don't know if that's the best idea. Let's hope you can see me, even though it's bright. First thing is my printer. I got this one, the, <laughs> the Epson EgoTank ET3850. Heard a lot of good things about this one. I had, I think, like four or five printers I was considering. Oh my gosh, I cannot see it. Thing. All right, we're gonna face this way so the sun is in my eyes. But I heard a lot of good things about the 3850. At Costco, they had two. They had the 2850, I think it was, and this one, the 3850. Um, I went with this one because it seemed more advanced and like it could support more printing. It's supposed to be a lot more eco-friendly because the ink is supposed to last longer and be more efficient with printing versus getting those cartridges for my HP Tango that I currently have. So hopefully this is gonna be better for stickers and candle labels. I actually order most of my candle labels now through fastprinting.com just so I could save time with the candle making process, but I do still print all of my mini candle labels, um, the 2.5 ounce ones. So that'd be great for that, as well as like making trial stickers and things like that. Also got a package from Spoonflower. I don't remember actually all of the new fabrics that I picked out. I'm excited. I think I didn't get that many, but let's still see. Okay, the main reason I ordered was because I needed more of this fabric to make some more pouches, but I actually found scrap fabric of this and it was enough to make the pouches. So now I just have spare of this fabric. I might post it on my website, like that one pouch, just so I can get through this fabric, but we'll see about that. Also, I thought this one was really cute. It's like a really like dainty floral and the background is white. I feel like the other colorful floral one that I have um, the florals are really big and you can't even see the white background. This one looks more simple, I guess. Oh, this one I thought would be like a fun little thing. Maybe only at pop-ups, but if you're interested in one, let me know. I'll make you one. But I was going to make like either two tote bags with this. It says Taylor's version, like in parentheses, as in when Taylor re-records. I mean, you guys know. Whatever. It says Taylor's version. I think this could be a cute tote or pouch. Um, I only got one yard of this, so I'm going to decide which product I'm going to make with it and then only make those and that'll be it. Let me know if you're interested. Also restocked this green fabric currently sold out um, of the pouches in this material on my website. Might bring them back. This is, I ordered these when I was feeling optimistic about pouches. But it is a very pretty picnic-y gingham pattern. And this one I'm pumped for Valentine's Day. I can't even believe I'm thinking about Valentine's Day right now, but that's what you have to do when you run a small business. I have these teddy bears with hearts on them. I think this is the cutest thing. I was going to make some pouches and totes um, and then potentially think of other types of fabric related projects I can make because I think these are adorable. Okay, that's it from Spoonflower and Costco. Now, we're going to eat a little bit something else and then head to the thrift store. Let's go thrifting instead of Black Friday shopping. I headed over to my local My Unique thrift store over in Union City, New Jersey and immediately grabbed a cart. Headed over to the Christmas section which was stocked, grabbed this mug, look at this cute little bear and I just love New Jersey thrift stores because I feel like prices are fair unlike New York City thrift stores. Found another vintage sewing pattern and I brought my productivity matcha shot from Magic Mind. Took my shot at that to stay energized and focused as I was thrifting. Found some really cute sweaters and pants and I decided to try things on to empty out my cart because Honestly, it was getting way too full. I was being really indecisive, decided to go back through the aisles one more time after putting some things back. Thrifting is a process. I could spend hours in one store and feel like I haven't scratched the surface, but I did go home with a hefty haul, knowing that Black Friday shopping can never compare to the feeling I get when I go thrifting.
making candles. It's the next day, obviously. I went out to breakfast this morning and just got right into crafting because I got 20 orders from Black Friday and the day after. And I just wanna get some of these orders completed before getting into the work week. It's now Sunday. I had a few candles that were already made that people ordered, so that's great that I have those done, but there are a bunch that I don't have done, so I'm making those now. I also have a holiday pop-up coming up next week, and I wanna just make sure I have enough raw materials to make candles and other things. So I just wanna make all of these things first so I know what I have and what I don't have. Making a ton of things, people really bought a lot of minis, but also bought a lot of the 12 ounce Ara Jar candles. Not so much the eight ounce ones, honestly. I don't think I sold any eight ounce ones. Oh, maybe two. Yeah, but I found that very interesting. The wax is now fully heated up, so I'm going to pour some candles. Candles are setting. I made a whole bunch, so this is why it looks very chaotic here. Those are the ones that I had pre-done, plus some of the ones over here. These are all for orders, but I already had them done because sometimes I just bulk make candles randomly. <laughs> sometimes I just make them for pop-ups, sometimes I'm just in the mood to make candles, so I'll like pre-make some. I also just weeded three different Hoboken totes. I already had these cut out with my Cricut um, because I think I was bulk making them at some point and so I just had these. Thankfully I had them because I got two or three, I believe, orders of the Hoboken totes, so this might be perfect. I do want to get these like professionally screen printed rather than using the vinyl because it's just so wasteful, like weeding out all the vinyl and then throwing out the in-between pieces. Um, right now, I do want to finish up these scrunchies that I have cut out. Today is basically just like a getting things done that I've needed to get done kind of day. 
this is kind of random but yeah did this I was also on my computer a good amount looking for some Black Friday Cyber Monday deals from the suppliers I normally buy from. Makesy is having 25% off everything, um, so I added some things to my cart. I'm going to think about it and then purchase if I think I need it. It's weird because this is the end of the year and I do have, I think, three more pop-ups in December, but I'm not sure about them because it's the cold season, obviously. I've never done pop-ups in December before, so I'm not sure how they're going to go. And also, I take a break from pop-ups January through like April or May-ish. And honestly, because my wedding is next year, I might take a break from pop-ups altogether next year. Or at least until after the wedding. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Pop-ups are where I sell most of my inventory. Um, so I don't know if I should stock up and just like keep the clutter around my apartment or if I should just take advantage of the deals and keep everything here. Yeah, that's the dilemma I'm having right now. Brambleberry also has some fragrances um, percentage off, same with candle signs. Vine Vita has a bunch of essential oils, 30% off I believe. So I might do some shopping tonight <laughs> for my small business. Good morning guys, it's Monday morning. It's before I need to log into work. So I realized I didn't do a thrift store like haul for you guys so i want to show you what i got i got mostly crafting things i barely got any clothes i think i got like one shirt um everything else was crafting related so that's kind of fun also my candles are setting they're pretty much done so i'm going to finish off the tops and cut off the tops of the wicks feels weird getting back into the work week and like doing my nine to five things again because every time i go on vacation or any sort of holiday i just feel like i'm in like my zone <laughs> i definitely enjoy content creation and my small business stuff so much more than my 9 to 5 stuff although I do really enjoy my 9 to 5 life I definitely enjoy all of this stuff ever so slightly more so it feels a little weird but let me show you what I got two days ago when I went to the thrift store I went to the thrift store that I always go to in Union City it's close to Hoboken first thing that's not crafting related but I thought it was really cute is this mug it says Merry Christmas from Texas not that I have any association with Texas but I liked the vintage look and there was a really cute um, like Christmas section of the thrift store. Oh, just a little mug. I don't have any Christmas mugs. So I thought that was appropriate. Also got some ribbon because it's been a thing to like tie ribbon in your hair. <laughs> um, and like on Christmas trees and just ribbons in general are very in. And I love ribbon. I have a good amount of it. But I found some that's like vintage almost. And some of these are like winter theme. Like this one is an ice skate or a sled. It's a sled. It's Santa's sleigh, <laughs> basically. And then there's like a party one that reminds me of my childhood. And these cute like pink ones, also a blue one. So I think I'm gonna use them to wrap presents and also tie my hair, cute things like that. Also, I was shocked when I found this. These are fabric organizers. They're basically just like really thick plastic cardboard type pieces. <laughs> and you wrap your fabric around it, kind of like in the picture here. This is how fabric is wrapped at some fabric stores like um, Joann's and Hobby Lobby. My fabric is all just like piled into bins right now and I would love to organize it. So I got two of these. There were actually a bunch of them, um, but I just felt like I needed to. And then this thrift store always has really cute vintage sewing patterns. So I found some really cool ones this time. I should probably open these up. It's always hit or miss if the pattern is actually included inside of the actual like casing. Because all you can see from the plastic that they give you is this, which is the cover. Look at the cute apron and like oven mitts. I think that's going to be adorable. I really want to make some. So this is like a vintage Vogue patterns pattern. Okay, well the pattern is included, which is great. But look at this. It looks historic. And then I thought this was cool. Not that I actually want this to be like what my wedding dress looks like. But look at that. That's beautiful. If anything, I will use this as like art to put on my wall. <laughs> okay, that was what was in the first one. Let's see the second one. This one is like an old McCall's um, like PJ pattern. But imagine how cute that would be. There's like a ridiculous glare right now, but I could make myself a little nightgown. There's like eBay packaging on this. I cannot wait. I love when it's the illustration that's on the front rather than a real person because in the modern day McCall's sewing patterns, they have like a real person modeling the clothing, but I kind of prefer the illustration. I think it looks cooler. Then the other one I got is this. I thought that could be cool for work if I make myself, this glare is messing with me. 
I could make something like that or like that. So cute. The only piece of clothing that I got actually was this top, which is originally from Liz Claiborne. And it's just a simple white top with black detailing. Um, it seemed comfy and it seemed like a good like layering piece for work. My night's five work. And then I got this box that has a bunch of boxes inside of it. The brand is the brand is Bob's Boxes. And basically, I love the pattern. Inside of it, there are more boxes that are smaller versions of this outer box. And I think there are four or five or more in here. I was gonna use them as boxes for Christmas gifts because I think this is the cutest thing. Not super Christmas themed, but could be cute, you know? And I also got this piece of fabric. I was thinking about it for a long time um, because I don't know, I have a lot of fabric, so I wanted to be very sure I would use it for something. But I think this is like the prettiest piece of art. I love the print. It's like a decent amount of fabric. I didn't actually measure it out yet. It reminds me of like a Monet piece, <laughs> like the water lilies. Is that Monet or is that someone else? Anyway, I think this is cute. I can use it to make a structured dress or pillowcases like I have a few ideas. Last thing that I'm not even sure if I regret or not, <laughs> but it's just this like paper crafting paper is what it's called. And it has cute, just like paper designs. This one's pretty cool. I could use it for like packaging up orders and just like, I don't know. You know how some people just like use paper goods for for cute things? I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> But I thought the designs are pretty. I know like most of it has been used, but it was only like 50 cents. That's all I got from the thrift store. Um, I'm doing some Cyber Monday shopping, honestly. <laughs> I just bought a bunch of things from Makesy because I need to restock on these mini candles because the orders that I've been fulfilling have literally made me run out of my mini candle stock or my mini like vessel stock. I know Vine Vita is about to release their Cyber Monday sale on their site soon. I'm hoping it's buy one, get one free, everything across the store. That would be amazing. I would just get so many fragrance oils and essential oils. Um, and then I'm also looking at some like clothing places. I'm looking at ThreadUp, obviously. I like always shop on ThreadUp, but also my weakness with fast fashion is Aritzia. So I've been low-key looking on Aritzia. Anything I buy from there, I always make sure it's not like a seasonal piece. It's always like something that I will wear all year round forever until the garment is like officially done, which is like never happened to me before. I've never like thrown out an Aritzia piece yet or like donated yet. So I find that that stuff's a little bit worth it and I haven't found like a good alternative, um, like sustainable alternative to the Aritzia things that I buy. So I'm looking on there, but I don't actually need anything. So I'm also looking for Christmas gifts for my family and friends to see if there's like anything on sale. There are also some bridesmaids dresses that are on sale that I'm considering, but I'm having the toughest time figuring out what I want my bridesmaids to wear because I just don't think any of them look good. <laughs> I have an issue with like bridesmaids style dresses. I just think they're all not good looking. Um, <laughs> and that's an issue that I have. So I'm trying to see if there are like normal dresses that like girls would wear around just like any other occasion that I can use the surprise new dresses or if they can all wear like a different dress. I don't know. I'm doing that and let's also finish these candles and pack them up.
lunchtime. I was doing some of my nine to five work, catching up on emails from the long weekend. And now that it's lunch, I was just like finishing up some of the candles. I put some labels on candles. I realized I messed up some of them. It's just so unfortunate because I made this candle in the wrong container without realizing it. This is supposed to go in a black container. Um, but I accidentally made it in a light one. So I have to remake this one. When things like this happen, I obviously don't like throw it out or anything i'll just bring it to a pop-up and put it in like a sales section or ask people like if they don't mind having it in the light container versus the dark container so i always end up using these i have so many candles that are done and just like waiting to be packed up it looks so great having like a ton of candles i must have like 50 candles just like waiting to be packaged up which is crazy in total so far i have 24 orders from the whole black friday weekend that might not seem like a lot or maybe it does seem like a lot to you it depends on like how far along your business is but it's a lot for me in one weekend i'm really happy that people took advantage of the sales if maybe my shop isn't exactly within like the price point that you can shop at i'm really glad that the sales this weekend allowed people to shop i saw a bunch of people reordering from me who have ordered from pop-ups before or who have ordered from online people who know me from youtube but thank you so much for your support if you did order it means a lot i am overwhelmed with the amount of things that i need to do right now i also have to make one more pouch um, because i messed up one of the other orders that i already sent out i forgot to include um, an additional pouch in their order so i need to do that i did get a couple more orders today so i think i'm going to wait until a couple days from now to make those candles just because i really want to get these done first i need to do my nine to five work I need to eat i skipped my workout this morning because i really wanted to get into all this so i really just want to get back into my routine and not overwhelm myself there are a bunch of wedding things that need to be decided on right now as well so i feel like my mind is very like scattered between like small business work nine to five work wedding work personal work fitness work like literally everything is happening right now at the same time um so i'm trying to like chill out for a little bit i'm gonna take a break from packaging eat my food watch my youtube videos and get on with the rest of my day look at this stack of orders it's like a decent stack <laughs> i gathered all of the candles onto my little crafting table desk situation and look how much is here literally so many candles i'm pumped to get these out to people um but i am waiting on a shipment from uline that's where i get all of my shipping supplies or my shipping boxes i have like maybe 10 15 boxes left of the ones that i use and i found ones that were a little bit more affordable on uline so i ordered some of those i also ordered smaller boxes because i currently only have the bigger like i think they're 10 inches long um, i got smaller ones in case people just order the mini candles so i'm not like wasting a bunch of packaging i have a lot to do today for the rest of the day so drinking my magic mine again um, talked about them at the beginning of this video. We'll never stop talking about them because of how much I love the product. So delicious. I just had lunch and I'm starting to feel like that afternoon slump. So this is the perfect time to take this. So refreshing. So yummy. I just feel ready to get started on the rest of these orders. As always, I have a discount code and a link below if you want to try out Magic Mine. Highly recommend it. They're a really great brand, really great to work with, and I love the aesthetic of their product and the functionality of their product. You guys know, I don't talk about things super often unless if I really love them. My favorite brands related to candles like Mixi, Fine Vita, like all of those brands, love them. We'll never stop talking about them. When it comes to like lifestyle productivity things, Magic Mind's my best friend. <laughs>
having the best time packing up all these orders. Look at all the candles and this isn't even all of it. I still have to make more, but look at how cute these look in the little box. I think it's adorable. But I love how they all look together and you could basically pick out um, whichever ones you want in here, at least for the holiday collection. I'm working on posting a product item where you can choose any of my candles, like all of the fall collection, the core collection, everything, and making your own box. But for right now, I just have the holiday collection. So you can see that this customer has a three pack on there and picked peppermint mocha, mistletoe berry, and vanilla gingerbread. This is what it looks like, so cute. I just made some of these labels with the um, pink stickers that I already had laying around. I think these are probably from Amazon, I'll link them. But I've just ran out of my Monica stickers. Where is an example of that? Like I just ran out of these and I didn't order anymore because I thought I could just make them myself. But I'm having really annoying issues with printing on the round labels. For some reason, my thermal printers, I've tried two <laughs> thermal printers, they're only printing on these rectangular stickers and not the circle ones. I don't know what the issue is, so I just printed on these and I think it looks kind of cute. I just put my logo and then I also have candle labels that are printed on these. I think they're cute. I'm going to spend the rest of the night editing a YouTube video and packing up some more orders. I can't believe this pile right now. I think it's only like seven orders, but they're all filled to the brim. Like people, you guys ordered a bunch of things, which I love. Barely any of the orders I got this weekend were just for a singular item. A lot of people ordered like three, four, five candles at a time. Like. I love that. <laughs> I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.